Stephen Marquet, The Unmade Bed, The Messy Truth About Men and Women in the 21st Century. Embark on a journey exploring the intricate dynamics between men and women in the 21st century with Stephen Marquet's The Unmade Bed, The Messy Truth About Men and Women in the 21st Century. Marquet uncovers the communication gap between the sexes, shifting gender roles throughout history, and how stereotypes are breaking down in our modern world. This book summary will guide you through understanding the importance of collaboration for gender equality, the effects of women's contributions to the economy, the evolving role of fathers, and the impact of traditional markers on society. Dive into this transformative read as it takes you through the complexities of gender relations in a thought-provoking and engaging manner. Mansplaining and Beyond The Need for a New Framework in Gender Discussions Rebecca Solnit's coinage, mansplaining, refers to instances when men patronizingly explain things to women who are experts in the subject matter. This phenomenon is widespread, and its description has become part of common language. Research on who talks more, men or women, remains inconclusive, leaving the communication gap between the sexes unresolved. Historical gender discussions revolved around the issue of male silence. Until recently, society defined the real man as someone who spoke infrequently and kept his opinions and emotions to himself. The lack of understanding between men and women is a symptom of a broader issue. Popular books on this topic, such as John Gray's Men Are From Mars, Women Are From Venus, have failed to bridge the communication gap. The us versus them language that dominates discussions on gender creates a confrontational atmosphere. As the roles and expectations of men and women change in society, there is a need for a new approach that transcends the traditional power struggles. Gender conversations should aim to incorporate men as well. The takeaway message is that gender discussions need a fresh framework that reflects the current realities of society. Gender roles are changing at a rapid pace, and the power struggles that have characterized discussions on gender are counterproductive. Gender Parity and the Hollow Patriarchy Women in the U.S. have made significant strides in economic equality. They are now earning more bachelor degrees than men, closing the pay gap, and taking on the role of breadwinner in 40% of American households with children. However, this progress has not translated into a parity of power as men still dominate board positions and upper echelons of most fields. Even in top tech firms, women hold only 15.6% of engineering positions and 22.5% of leadership positions. The lack of gender parity requires a collaborative effort between men and women. It's time to set aside gender wars and adopt gender negotiations to crack the shell of the hollow patriarchy. The central conflict of domestic life is not about mothers versus fathers, but the family against money. The Cost of Patriarchy Today's economy thrives on the contributions of women, yet gender stereotypes and patriarchy continue to hinder progress. The idea of a head of household is outdated, and the gender gap in employment must be closed to promote stability and prosperity. Countries that suppress women suffer economic consequences, while those that support job opportunities for women indicate modernity. Initiatives like increasing female representation on corporate boards and providing day care have been implemented by some countries, including Japan. It's time for society to recognize the importance of women's contributions and work towards a more equal and prosperous future. Reimagining Gender Roles Marquet's experience as the primary caregiver raised eyebrows within his friend's circle, with older folks quick to deem him the woman in the family. However, many of his contemporaries were far less judgmental, often managing dual-income households, with their wives sometimes earning more than they did. For Marquet, the experience was transformative, revealing and humbling, as he learned what being an addendum felt like. By reducing caregiving to a feminist issue exclusive to women, we're doing families a disservice. It's not about men's work or women's work, it's about shared parental responsibilities. Marque advocates for affordable childcare and paid parental leave to assist with this balancing act of home and work life's demands. Modern Fatherhood 
After experiencing the loss of his own father, Marque reflects on the changing role of fatherhood in modern society. Economic pressures have led to a new model of more involved fatherhood, with the number of stay-at-home dads increasing and dads spending three times as much time with their children compared to fathers in 1965. However, rates of fatherlessness are also rising, with a negative impact on children's well-being. Despite cultural stereotypes, modern fathers are passionate about parenting, and societal expectations now accommodate diverse family models, including support for gay marriage. The Hollow Image of Patriarchy The feminist movement sparked the removal of limits on women's potential and gender equality, but society still upholds masculine and feminine markers. Representation of women has hardly changed, standards of beauty from the 60s are still prevalent, and the media is still slow to adopt feminist ideals. Although women have the freedom to pursue any path, men still adhere to old ways of thinking about masculinity. The third wave feminism celebrates freedom without a clear philosophy or boundaries. The importance of male friendships. Men need connections to form genuine friendships, but society compartmentalizes and belittles these relationships with the vocabulary. Women are allowed mature friendships, but men have to become men alone. Authentic male friendships are crucial for well rounded human beings. Leniency in defining masculinity is beginning to emerge as the lines between masculine and feminine blur. Sex, morality, and the internet. Progressive movements push for a consent-based society that leads to healthier sexual practices and teenage abstinence. Meanwhile, the proliferation of internet porn, now more trafficked than Hulu, CNN, and ESPN combined, has a surprising upside. Economist Todd Kendall suggests that pornography substitutes for rape, leading to lower rates of rape victimization in states with more internet access. Gender Role Debates Sorting out feelings towards gender role changes is not an easy task, often leading to emotional reactions instead of productive discourse. Feminist scholars often receive personal attacks and threats rather than constructive engagement. To promote effective conversations, we need thoughtfulness, empathy, and compassion, not just moralism and outrage. Boys will be boys and girls will be girls. The challenge for parents is to allow their children to act according to their nature without being confined by outdated ideas. The meta-study concludes that gender differences exist along a spectrum, and parents must provide equal opportunities without accepting gender stereotypes. Gender equality and new family dynamics. Despite achieving financial, social, and political equality, women still carry the bulk of household chores. Working women tend to compensate for their time spent on careers by doing more housework. Nevertheless, new family models are emerging as gender equality enables couples to realize their potential and achieve greater intimacy. In The Unmade Bed, Marque exposes the harsh realities of the ongoing struggle against gender prejudice and societal norms in our quest for true gender equality. The summary highlights the importance of mutual understanding, communication, and collaboration between the sexes to break through the barriers forged by patriarchy. It's crucial to recognize new family models, evolving gender roles, and the positive changes in society that have led to closer equality in pay and workforce numbers. As we reflect on our progress, it's essential to address the challenges that still lie ahead, such as the division of household chores, societal expectations, and the continuous fight for equal representation in leadership roles. This book encourages men and women alike to work together, redefine their roles, and advocate for change, thereby fostering a more inclusive and equal society.